Hey Oilers, welcome back from spring break. I hope it was better than mine. First of all, thanks to everyone who made every 15 minutes happen before we went on break. Officials said that we were one of the best audiences they've ever seen, and our video was the best in 20 years. We hope everybody learned something over these past two days. Anyhow, to kick things off, let's take a trip with Amelia over to French Club. The purpose of French Club is to help educate people about French culture and like what's happening in other countries. It's to help people get immersed in something besides American culture. The French Club is different than the foreign language class because we focus more on educating people about the culture and the lifestyle in France instead of the language. And we do it so people who don't know how to speak French can still take the club because we want everyone to be able to take it. So in French Club, we do a bunch of activities and that separates us from the class in that we aren't learning the language, we're learning the culture and we're doing it in ways such as like games, foods. And we talk about different French culture like music, art, uh, we talk about the difference in the education system in America and France and basically we just take you to another world. So in this club we play games, we eat different French cuisines and we listen to French music. We mainly go over like different lifestyle points in France, like their education system, uh, the food, the art, and we have cheese parties and we play games and it's a really good time. We meet on Fridays in J11, which is Madame Dunsor. That sounds fantastic. In other news, MNET's last show of the year, Retrofest, is just around the corner. Let's check in with Joseph for more details. Retro Best Songwriter is an annual show by MMAT Pop that delves into the fascinating stories behind the songs we know and love and the people who brought them to life. Retrofest celebrates the singer-songwriter era, showcasing hits ranging from the turn of the century up until the 1980s. You can go watch it at the Huntington Beach High School Historic Auditorium on May 4th and 5th at 7.30pm and on Saturday, May 6th at 2pm and 7.30pm. See you there, Oilers! Good luck with the show, guys. It's on May 4th, 5th, and 6th in the auditorium. Speaking of the auditorium, here's Levi with its backstory. When I came in, all of the paint on the walls was peeling. The carpeting was all torn, old. Uh, we were holding it together with gaff tape. Carpet shampooers wouldn't even shampoo it because it would just come apart. The seats were so bad, the springs were all breaking. So I was taking springs from the balcony seats to keep the seats in the lower house uh, good. Uh, the roof leaked. I would uh, get up in the middle of the night on rainy nights and my wife would say, where are you going? I said, I gotta get to the auditorium. The roof." <laughs> leaking and I would have buckets up and down the aisles. One time we were doing a show and it actually started pouring real hard on stage and uh, someone had to run into the shop, grab a garbage can, bring it out and put it right next to the gal who was still singing her song. So it, it was pretty bad. There was no heat, there was no air conditioning. You froze in the winter, you baked in the summer. It was a little bit different than it is today. When I met Daryl, I had extremely long hair. I was a hippie kid and uh, Daryl was totally welcoming and accepting me even though I looked a lot different than the normal student body at the time. Uh, Daryl Stillwagon was always totally 100% about the students. Daryl could be talking to the superintendent of the school district, and if a student came up, Daryl would stop what he was doing, he would not pay attention to the adult, and he would focus on whatever the needs of the student uh, was at the time. The school didn't have the money at the time to make any of these major fixes, new carpets, paint, a new roof, that all cost money. 
And fortunately, we were able to take care of that during modernization because uh, the voters had approved a bond that gave the school enough money to do all this. The reason why the auditorium was renamed for Darrell, it was, it was like an honor to the man, but there was also a tragedy uh, at the end of Darrell's life. Um, he, was, he had announced his retirement, and he had put graduation to bed, and that evening he had a heart attack and passed away. And you've never seen so many people show up and fill the auditorium, crying teenagers, uh, members of the community. Daryl reached everybody. He was just the most remarkable man. And he always would say to me, it's amazing what you can accomplish if you don't care who gets the credit. But Daryl Stillwagon was like no other. A lot of the people who use our theater that are in the community, they did help push that measure to get through. So this auditorium is also a pretty good public relations uh, venue for yeah. us and the community. Thank you, Levi. One thing that will be held in the auditorium shortly is ASL's Sign Song Show. Every year, the ASL 3 and 4 classes come together to sign interpretations of popular songs. This year will be a special one as they are celebrating 200 years of ASL. It will be held on May 10th in the auditorium at 7 o'clock, so be sure to check it out. Ever heard of The Simpsons? If you haven't, you've been living under a rock. Here's Cameron with some background on the popular TV show. Hey Oilers, as you guys are probably aware, that is if you still watch TV, there is a huge long running show that is still making new episodes today. That show is called The Simpsons, a show that started in 1989 and is still on today for over 27 years and on its 28th season. The only reason that this show still stays to people's eyes is its future predictions. The Simpsons is known for making predictions that end up being real. For example, the most recent one is where they predicted that Lady Gaga would be in the 2017 Super Bowl. Then who do we see in the halftime show? Lady Gaga. The one creepy prediction that freaked some people out was the Donald Trump prediction. They made an episode where they showed Donald Trump was going to be our 45th president of the United States. A few years later, and look who is our 45th president today. If you want to view the show for yourself, you can watch it on Fox during Sunday nights or get it through Amazon Video, Hulu, and many other video applications. Stay classy, Oilers. That was great, Cameron. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. He's tall. He's handsome. He's got spray tan abs. He's Mike Lombardo with another episode of... Pop Talk! <sighs> what is your meaning of life? Nothing. You know, just the HP life and just drive around, you know? The skirt in the car, you know, the window's down. It's all about it. Punk rock, dude. What are you tired of hearing about? Reasons why people don't get their ceramic work done because they're too busy. Oh to god, that was called out right there. I'm tired of people complaining that they got a B on their report card because I'm like struggling to get there. The grind is real. When you daydream, what do you think about? I daydream about students not asking me stupid questions like what do you daydream about? Thank you! What dogs do when they're home alone. What would you name your boat if you had one? Probably Sea Lion. The Alaskan Pipeline. Has anyone ever told you you look really fast in those? You look really fast. No, sir. Just, just, just you. You're welcome. If you had a boat, what would you name it? I would name it Jerry. Yeah, no, I'm just tired of what issues. I'm famous. <laughs> I'm a lot famous. Love you, Chloe. I love me too. Love you. <laughs> I need some hand sanitizer or something, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, dude. Uh, yeah, I was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> what movie do you wish your life was like? Greg Heffley and Diary of a Wimpy Kid. The Great Gatsby. What's the worst purchase you've ever made? Um, in Kelly Slater Pro Surfer, when I did a 1080 roast beef grab. Sauce? Sauce. <laughs> um, okay. okay. You ever been to Saskatchewan? Me and my friends! Oh, wait, wait. Like to hang out there! What kind of fashion sense attracts you? Uh, you know, low and chill, like as you can see right here. You gotta, you gotta be dressed like you weren't really ready for school. And you kind of just went out, just left your house when you weren't ready, and then perfect. <sighs> well, Oilers, that's all the time we have for this episode of Campus Update. And remember, as the great Ellen DeGeneres would say, I have a dream. Luke, I am your father. Now love being purple.